I thought uh, I was always confident, you know, if, if we had the footy with a minute to go and we were down by four points, and um, I was all, always confident that, you know, we had the ability to, you know, to come up with something. But, you know, for the 79 minutes before that, it was pretty hard. Simon, what was the message in those last few moments when you guys were down by four? Um, I guess those thoughts weren't going through our head as much. Um, no, the obvious was we needed to score a try down by four. Uh, we sort of didn't really build much pressure throughout the whole game, bar probably the first ten minutes after half time. And um, you know they played really well and uh, got a lot of, lot of momentum. In that second half, and it sort of felt if we could just hold on to the footy for a few sets, give ourselves opportunity on the line, that we might be able to do something. And th thankfully enough, um, you know, Sean came up with a big play and, and got the try for us. Some were the English team better than you thought they would be. I mean, did they? <coughs> what, what were you expecting when you came into this game? Oh, nothing less than what they played today. Um, it wasn't. Uh, expecting, um, you know, nothing but a, a, a very tough game, and when they went down to the wire, and, and that's what happened. They, a big physical side, and um, really tested us. We probably didn't play our best game, but that's probably credit to their the opposition. They put a lot of pressure on us, and um, definitely had us under the pump for a majority of that game. Steve, what have you promised Sean coming out with that play? Uh, yeah, well, you know, he's part of a. You know, he's part of a, a group, you know, I think Sean would understand that, you know, for a period of the second half there where, you know, England had 11 sets and we had two, you know, that his, that his forwards were, you know, giving him the opportunity to, to come up with that play, you know, he wouldn't have been thinking about it with half a minute to go, but, and, and that's, for me, that was the, you know, that was a real telling point. As Simon said, we didn't, I don't think we played real well today. But we hung in there and we gave ourselves a chance, you know, with with a minute to go, and and um, uh, you know that's a you know that's a real positive. Like I said, you know, eleven sets they had the footy and we had it for you know for two of them, and you know they were very unfortunate. That, you know they got lost the, the ball over the try line and we kept turning them away there. So um, you know, take nothing away from their performance. I, I thought they were outstanding, England. Why don't you think you played well? Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a real difficult one. I was you know having a chat with Ivan up in the box there, and you know for five weeks, um, you, you can't prepare for a contest like that, you know. And, and and it was exactly that, you know. As Simon said, you know they've got a real physical full pack. They've got some you know very clever halves, um, a very good full back, you know. And all of a sudden, you know we you know been ticking along like we have been for the last five weeks, and you get thrown in the cauldron, which you know, we anticipated, but again, you know, you can't you can't prepare for that. It's um, um, I, I, th I think you know I think today's you know today's match will be you know a real real benefit to us um, certainly for next week. Simon, is that what it kind of felt like it's here that these games beforehand hadn't really prepared you for such an occasion? Um, probably not so much in that. Um, you know, we always concentrate on our on ourselves first, and um, you know we're not taking anything away from the opposition we've played up till now. Uh, it was it was a bit of a step up out there today, but um, within our own performance, it felt like we sort of went away from what we were building on. Um, you know, little things in defence, and obviously building a lot of pressure in games. And we didn't really do that today. Whether that was because of the opposition or maybe a little bit of ourselves also. Um, I'm not too sure, but 
Um, you know, not taking away anything anything from anyone we've played so far or England today. We just just off the mark, probably just a touch. Was that was that an example of a good team finding a way to win, or did you just get lucky because England made mistakes in the final minute? Well, well, again, you know, I, I think you guys need to be the judge of that. You know, we, you know, we give ourselves a chance. Um, you know, with a half a minute to go, and you know, if you're good enough, you're good enough. And as I said before, um, you don't give yourself a chance if you know you open up the floodgates when the opposition have 11 sets and you have two. So, you know, you, you guys can draw the conclusion to that. <laughs> See, you just paint a picture of what it was like watching that last. Going through that. Well, I know I was underneath the desk. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, um, oh, it was a bit of mixed emotion, to be fair. You know, uh, <clears throat> you know, we feel, you know, I think we feel fortunate to, you know, to, you know, come up with the play and the opposite opportunity presented itself, and Sean was good enough to take it. But um, you know, as uh, Simon said, you know, we, we need to be, you know, we needed to be, uh, or we need to be better. Um, so there were parts of the game the, there which were which were difficult to watch. There was no, there was no doubt about that. Simon, it takes a lot of composure to win a game with 20 seconds to go. Was there a call out there? Is there something you need to say to the boys to keep them composed? Uh, I think um, it was almost just second nature, sort of. A lot of guys out there have got a lot of experience and played in a lot of big games and um, obviously take know what it takes to win them and um, you know you try and train yourself for those situations but it's never quite the same when you're out there but you just try and fall back to your, your processes and you know get to your spots on the field and um, you know, there's no point in trying to make something up new with um, you know with, with a crucial time not much time to go so and that's sort of what it felt like out there just a bit of second nature and um, yeah just come up with a big play from Sean but I think leading up to it we were sort of doing pretty much everything we were we were trained to do. Tell me if that's perfect right? everybody's going to focus on them trying the last minute obviously understandable but I thought just as crucial was the try in the first half when you're 8-0 down and England were, you know, really, I thought, getting physically on top of you. And then you came up with an absolutely magical try by Dean Fari when Tobias Shek somehow managed to get the ball, you know, was hovering above in touch and didn't manage to put his foot on and, you know, got the ball back to Fari and after some incredible play. Uh, and it, it, it must have been a fantastic boost in confidence, Simon, for, for you when, when that try came, because I thought if England had scored again, you know, and gone, say, 14 nil would be much more difficult for you. Yeah, they definitely put us under a lot of pressure in that um, first half, you know, going up nil, 8 nil, sorry, pretty quick, and um, they were, you know, beating us to the punch, it felt like, throughout, you know, in defence and with the ball, and um, yeah, it was it was a big play from Dean, I think he's the one that threw it in, and um, and, and we managed to score in that, in that first half, and Pick it back to eight all, and um, there's there are crucial moments throughout the game, and it's you probably just see the the end process with Shawnee's try at the end. But you're right, there are times throughout the game where you know it's sort of seesawing, and if you can come up with a big play like that, it definitely pays dividends towards the end of the game. How does that compare with other tries in your time as coach, Steve? That's right. Yeah, it was, it was you know it was a pretty special effort. You know, it's probably you know with that right edge. Over the course of this tournament, it's it seemed pretty normal. <laughs> We've done some special things over there with Dino and, and Rog. So, um, but it, it, you know, as Simon said, you know, I think um, to be fair, you know, the scoreline eight all at half time, you know, was quite generous for us. You know, because uh, as was mentioned, I think England had um, a lot of the play there, so um, yeah, it took us took a special effort to come up with you know, come up with the play. And, as I said, you know, Roger's been doing some special things the whole tournament in, in Dino, so... The question looked like he had a bit of a limp or something towards the end. Is there anything serious? Um, we're not sure yet. Um, we'll just have to, you know, have a look at, close look at him over the next, um, you know, few days and see how he is. Um, but um, he's, you know, walking around on it OK, so... It was, like I said, it was, a, it, was a, it was a tough test match and, you know, there's a, there's a few bumps and bruises in there. Well, 
sort of like guys were trying to get a bit of a head on Sam Burgess and, and try to dominate him, but it almost seemed to take the focus away. 